On Tuesday, August 11th of 2015, is when I knew my life was going to change, and I got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. My life changed August 11th, the day that I found out that she was diagnosed with cancer. When I found out she was diagnosed with cancer, it kind of hit me. Like, I didn't know how to take it. I didn't know. I was like, what? I was like, that doesn't make sense. I was like, why? It didn't It, it didn't click with me. It didn't, it didn't make sense to me for a, a while, I think. I, I talked to her mom, and she told me everything. And I, like, understood, like, what she said. And it made sense to me. And, I, and I, like, I was just sitting there, and I, like, went to go tell my mom everything. And that's when it, like, that's when it hit me. And I liked, like saying it out loud and saying it to my mom. It like that's like when I started crying because like saying it the actual words of like the cancer thing, and that's when I, like I figured out that like that was something. It was not something like that was going to be easy. Like it was, it was real. My name is Peyton, and I'm a I'm 18, a senior at Wiley High School, and I am involved at FFA. I have three three animals, two lambs and a goat, and three rabbits. And I plan on being a veterinarian, but not just a normal veterinarian, a travel veterinarian in my future. She's been a fighter through this whole thing. If it wasn't for her, I don't know if I would even have the strength to go through it with her. Because she has kept a smile. She's kept her spirits up. I'm grateful for that, her friends, uh, all the support. Um, they have really kept her in her right mind. On the day of my diagnosis, we went into the doctor's office and uh, his personality and the way he was when we went into like the actual room, it was a total complete transition and that's when he told me and my mom and my, one of my best friends that I was diagnosed with some sort of lymphoma. I do not know a lot about cancer and so I did some research and I knew I was like it's Peyton and she's gonna get through this she's a fighter but it's like I started bawling and so because I don't want any of my friends to go through anything that causes them pain if it causes them pain it causes me pain before I had to leave to go to college and I knew she had been getting like really sick I think but I wasn't really sure we, well everyone wasn't really sure what was like going on. The first round of chemo went really well. I didn't get sick or anything, which everyone was surprised about. The, the Probably the emotional part of it all would be probably shaving my head and not being able to show an FFA. Shaving my head is really hard because if you know me as a person, my like most important thing to me is my hair. But most of all, the most emotional part is FFA because that has played such an impact on my life. It's my life, and it's gonna be really hard for me, especially when I graduate, and it's even harder for me this year because it's senior year, and I can't show with my friends. Or After remission, I'm just gonna try to go back to my life as normal as possible. It's gonna be hard going through the hallways, people talking to me, but other than that, it'll be easy. She's just, I mean, laughing, playing, goofing. She's done this through the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> And that's what's made it so easy, easier, not so easy, but easier to get through this uh, and stay strong for her because I knew I had to, but she's actually, I think I got my strength from her because if she wasn't as strong as she is, I don't think I would, I would have been able to stay as strong. And she's a true blessing and will always be and look forward to her walking across the stage at graduation and starting a new chapter in our life.